This episode of GMK is brought to you by Devil's Cap Marina, located at the end of Matheson Bay Road on beautiful Lake of the Woods and open all year round. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Kenora. I did not cut you off today. I know, I did. I'm impressed. Yeah. Nice. So uh, welcome to the weekend edition of the show. It's a fine, fine show today. Fine day. This is our TGIF episode. Absolutely. And uh, to celebrate TGIF, we have a couple of great guests as well. We've got a great TGIF lineup. That's right. <laughs> and it's a great TGIF um, weather day. Yeah. It's okay. beautiful out. So if you want to take a look... Uh, the Good Morning Canard Weather is brought to you by Casey's Grill and Bar. High of 7 today and a low of minus 3 with some sunshine. Tomorrow, high of 10. Woohoo! Yeah, low of minus 3 with some sun. On Sunday, we've got a high of 13, a low of 1 with more sun. Back out of the minuses. Yeah, Let's we stay love there. It. And then Monday, the best day of the week yes. because it's 18. 18 on Monday and a high of 9. Low of 9. You know, whatever. <laughs> They're both highs to you. Exactly. There's no it, low in th that equation. That's ex there's no minus. So there's yeah. no low. It's a both. It's a both a high day. So yeah, it's fantastic weekend. Fantastic weekend coming up. Tell me about this TGIF lineup. This TGIF lineup is very special. We have Darsha here from Hope in the City, which is coming up real quick. Uh, you know what? And I completely forgot because the weather's been pretty terrible. Yep. But it's coming up right away. So she's here to talk a little bit about the event. It's going to be a very, very good time. And also our... Uh, a dog is here. A dog's here. Luna. L Luna. Yeah. Is that the name of the dog? That is the name of the dog. Yeah. And Chris Madsen has brought her along, so we're going to, uh, we're going to have, you know, see Luna, maybe sample some new treats. Right. Oh, yeah. I haven't had breakfast, so... Yeah. <laughs> I can't stop playing with this. I don't know I what gotta put that down. Stop fidgeting, sir. It's so, a screw. It's a really, it is a really good show and a great day, so let us uh, go to a quick break, and when we come back, let's bring on Darsha, and let's talk about oh, in the city. Beautiful blue sky. Our skies are changing. The pollution from our cars and trucks is a major cause of climate change. It could change life as we know it. Trees help by removing carbon dioxide, but our urban areas need more trees. By planting a few trees every year, you'll help keep our skies just the way they should be, clear and blue. Trees do their part. We must do ours. would like to thank Wind & Water Interiors for being a proud supporter of local television programming. Wind & Water Interiors, 326 2nd Street South. Welcome back to this TGIF Friday show. Let's get this party started. Let's get it rolling. Let's rock it out. Darsha, how are you? I'm good. Good, good. So Hope in the City, it's, uh, it's coming back. It is. Next weekend, May 11th. Nice. And yeah. correct me if I'm wrong. Second year? Third year. Third year. <laughs> so, I know. So tell us a little bit. So um, last year, I know, was a really big success. Sold out right away. You're sold out? We are sold out again this year, yes. Wow. And then, nice. uh, so have you made any improvements? What's the, what's the kind of new thing going on this year? This year, we doubled the amount of attendees that could come to the event. So we've wow. moved the event to the Kenora Recreation Center. And there's over 400 ladies joining us this year. Wow. Oh, yeah. Very, very good. And uh, all the proceeds go to? The Canadian Cancer Society. Look at this. This is really good. I saw some of the pictures from last year. And mm -hmm. it's fantastic. They're, all the women are dressed to the nines. Dressed to the nines. Same thing this year? Yes. This year's um, theme is vintage. So this year all the ladies will be dressed in their best vintage attire. So. Oh. And how far? Uh, so vintage, I guess, is very broad. They could be dressed basically in anything old. Yeah. <laughs> Old and beautiful. Sounds the ladies good. still like to dress up and get all the accessories and everything. So. Very nice. And this is, of course, this is uh, a ladies-only event? It is a ladies-only event. Oh. Sorry, Chris. Sorry. 
Sold out anyway, so. That's true. I was, I, if you need a bartender or something, I can. <laughs> what, what, what happens uh, on a night for Hope in the City? Like, what, what, what can a lady expect when she attends? Well, she'll be greeted at the door by OPP escorts and enter in on the red carpet. Wow. And um, the event is decorated by Carol Vaness from Signature Wedding, so it's a beautifully decorated event. Um, that evening, we are going to have um, guests speakers. So Nina Roberto and her daughter Capri Roberto Anderson will be there. They're from Thunder Bay. And Capri wrote her, is a 13-year-old who wrote her mother a song. Um, uh, yes, I her mother. This. Yeah, she's she's quite famous now. She wrote her mother her song. Her mother um, is now a breast cancer survivor. So um. Nina and Capri will be at the event. That's really cool. Actually, the reason I know that is because I saw the, on Shaw TV in Thunder Bay, they did a, uh, they did a thing on them. Mm. So uh, very, that's very, very cool. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, Derwar Motors is doing a 50-50 draw. We have um, unbelievable raffle prizes there that ladies can um, try to win. We have a silent auction. We have digging for diamonds. Um, cool. So all, all those proceeds are going to... Cancer Society. That's really fantastic. What if I told you I look really good in a dress? Would that help me get in? Because I want some of these prizes. Sure. Possibly. Nice. Nice. <laughs> or if he became a member of the OPP, perhaps. He could be one of the uh, escorts. That's true, too. Or he could work for Casey's Bar and Grill, who is going to be running go. the bar There's that night. There's lots of ways in the door, Chris. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just need to find yours. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. So, um, four hundred. That's double. That's very. That's very cool. I mean, I know because last year people were saying that they were they wanted to go, but it sold out so very, fast. Very, very quick. It sold out in a few hours this year as well. But wow. And we did double it. So, we are in a bigger venue, but mm -hmm. we wanted to include more of the ladies from town in in our events. So. Nice. Uh, how's the? How do you figure the rec center is going to work for you? Just in, in, I mean, the style and the ambiance. Can you still do it up nice? Well, Carol Vanessa is unbelievable from Signature Weddings, so she's got lots of great ideas to still have yeah. the, the place looking unbelievable. So, is it in the downstairs, like the New Horizons area? Or? No, it's on the ice surface. Really? Because mm -hmm. isn't the home show happening this well? weekend? That's is this the weekend. home show oh, okay. next weekend? Open the seating. Yeah. Idiot. I'm such an idiot. It's okay, my friend. It's okay. We all are. Um, uh, the other thing, there's going to be a photo booth again. And, cause I saw yeah, some Ehor's mentioned. doing the photo booth again. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Um, so other than that, so it's been on for three years. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been part of it for all three years? I've been a part of it for two years. So the first year, Shannon Bailey, Ashley Hoffmeister, and Yoda Strait right. ran it themselves, and, and it was a huge success. And then they started a committee last year. So the committees have been working together for two years now. Oh, very, very good. Mm -hmm. So this is already sold out. You're already thinking next, you thinking next year already? Or are you sort of just kind of get, let's get through this. And then as we're soon as We're always thinking over. about next year, but um, we're looking forward to next weekend first. So still a lot of work to be done before then. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for coming on and letting us know about, uh, about this event, what's going on. And uh, everyone, if you, wanna, if you want to go, you can't. Yeah. It's sold out. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry for yeah. informing you, but you can't go. You can't. But maybe <laughs> next year, maybe yeah. next year, are you, you thinking after, like, because 400 sold out in, in hours, you thinking you're going to open it up a little bit more? 600. <laughs> go big. Uh, yeah. Go exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we have to thank, to all the community businesses mm -hmm. and surrounding businesses and businesses in Sioux Narrows, because without them, really, this event wouldn't be as big of a success as it is, so thanks to all their donations and all their help that we can do it so excellent stuff Josh thanks very much for coming on the show okay. and, uh, and have a good weekend thanks you Hope too success. sorry and Tracy wasn't here I know <laughs> we'll she's in trouble you're in trouble Tracy <laughs> next week we'll you heard it here exactly my fake fiance won't get away with this I tell you right now <laughs> so we're going to go to a quick break and when we come back we're going to bring on Christine Madsen and Luna Plaza is a proud sponsor of GMK and community programming. The Plaza at 125 Main Street South. There are a lot of ways to use a life jacket. To keep dry in the rain. Keep your beverages cool and refreshing. It's even great for relaxing. <sighs> there are many ways to use a life jacket. Whoa. Ah! 90% of boaters who drown 
don't use theirs properly. Close by isn't close enough. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to TGIF. Welcome, Christine. Good morning. Luna's down there somewhere. Oh, there she is, looking for something to eat. Yeah. So my first question is, is uh, what brand do we have today? Well, the same. Same as last week. Oh, same as last week? Same. So I didn't bring anything new for you to try to eat today. So Really? Yeah. Did Sorry. you not like it last week? Well, it wasn't bad. <laughs> uh, it wasn't bad. See, so. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. I can probably live Whatever with that. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get Matt to do it, too. So Luna, how... Uh, yeah, she's Good almost. Dog. Uh, yeah, she looks. Uh, everybody here thought she was like a purebred Ger German Shepherd, and um, mm. she's not. No. Nope. But looks close. The she good thing have. is she uh, doesn't have the awful hips that a purebred Ger most shepherds have. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so very nice dog. Oops, I, not well, gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> she's not. Just gonna, looking for that chicken and rice. <laughs> she's not gonna be uh, very big. No. Uh, well, she maybe fifty. 60 pounds tops okay. when she's full grown, so, oh, so, so she's she, gonna be. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, that's it, <laughs> that's it. I just was gonna ask about this Shepherd's, German Shepherd's hip comment, so German Shepherd's typically have bad hips well, or hip the, problems? Or? Uh, if they're bred improperly, oh, okay. um, they get hip dysplasia and then have to have mm -hmm. hip surgery and have trouble walking and Yikes. So, um, so if you ever watch or see some German Shepherds, their back end really slopes mm -hmm. down. Uh, and that's just the way they've been re bred lately. And okay. the original Shepherds weren't like that. So it's a look that breeders and people showing them want now, which really isn't um, good for them. But anyways, so, but she's a nice little German Shepherd without those <laughs> hips, so. Perfect. Well, yes. <laughs> back to the roots. Well, it's one of those things where you get to do, um, Purebred versus well, mutt. Yeah. Right. I mean, I know that uh, I know a lot of people that I know that when they're looking for dogs, they wanted like a purebred lab and a yeah. purebred this. But um, unfortunately, it didn't last that long. Maybe like over the span of it. Yeah. Because I have a I have a purebred mutt and she hangs on. Yeah. Like she's going forever. <laughs> this dog. She'll outlast me. Um, but purebreds. I mean, and you you get those genetic things. Those genetic yeah. Defects. Which you still can get in the mutts too. Like oh, really? you can still get a mutt with hip dysplasia if they, you know, if they have German Shepherd in them and mm. that's the gene that they've sort of picked. But uh, it does tend to be, you know, they right. don't have some of the issues. They tend to be a bit more hardier. So. Oh, fair. And yeah. Luna looks. She's healthy. Yes. Yeah. Good looking dog. I like. I love the uh, the accessory of the. Uh, the, the Bandana. Scarf. Bandana, sorry. Not a scarf. Sorry. I, was, well, I didn't know which way to go. I sort of thought, like, what's... I said yeah. scarf, not you. <laughs> That's a, that would have been a Chris word for sure. That's true. <laughs> um, so tell us a little bit about her. Where did you, when, when did you get her? Um, well, we got her as a puppy, and uh, she has recently come back to us. The owner couldn't keep her uh, mm. due to health uh, issues in the family, so... <laughs> Her and her brother both had been adopted, oh. and um, and now because of health issues, they can't keep them. So so she's oh, back, gorgeous. but uh, really nice, uh, nice good. dog who who thinks she should be going somewhere. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, shepherds, I, I I always love German shepherds. Yeah, they have a nice look. I like mm -hmm. she her ear just finally came up. She had one floppy one, and uh -huh. so. I have to get a new picture of her today because to it stood up yesterday, her other ear. So <laughs> so they're both up today. Nice. So, yeah. yeah. She's truly looking the part. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, people looking for, she's you know, she's puppy still, right? Yeah. So a little bit of high energy, a little bit of uh, zip in her step? Yep. Yep. Not too bad, though. She's not... Uh, not too crazy. Not too crazy. No. Nice. Not, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> She's doing yeah, a good pose. So we have uh, Meet the Hounds tomorrow. Okay. Weather's supposed to be nice, Chris. So you I'm finally uh, are getting it right. I'm, I am getting it right. Yeah. Some uh, so, time. Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. Canadian Tire, 10 for the older dogs and mm -hmm. 11 for the puppies and smaller dogs. So. Okay. okay. And they're all at Canadian Tire? Uh, all except for the puppies. Oh, the They'll puppies be at, at pet at value. value. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, any adoptions? Yes, we had. Uh, we were in Dryden last weekend, right? And uh, 
a dog called Cypress was adopted. Mm. She went uh, yesterday, so yeah. Excellent. Yeah, right. so it was. Good. Any uh, any more rescues? If I yes. Get a few more. Uh, mother dog and three puppies. So. Oh. And four puppies we picked up this week. Wow. Yeah. So we'll Excellent. back up to seven puppies, seven more puppies, and a mother dog. So. Wow. That's a lot of puppies. Yep. So. I'm glad they're not at my house. <laughs> <laughs> so Don't say that. <laughs> you would love to have these puppies at your house. Well, they're too little. They're too little yeah. yet. They're only four weeks. Still and, rearing. And yeah. So they uh, they can't go for about a month yet. So. <laughs> But uh, if you are in the, uh, the market for a puppy, you can go to adogslife.cc. You can also check out the Facebook page, A Dog's Life, mm -hmm. uh, and take a look and browse through some pictures of puppies. And, that, and if you do want to volunteer, uh, your time maybe to a foster home, or even just volunteer and say, I want to buy a couple of bags of dog food, all the paper is on, registration forms are on the website as well. Yes. Yeah. And I have, a, I have a fun story to tell you. Good. I've been dying to tell you the story. <laughs> um, last Sunday, uh, my son was in the, in the Lakewood production of The Little Mermaid. So I sat down, and my, my mother and my daughter and I were all sitting there, and this lady turns around looks at me, and she says, you're Chris Jones. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to know where this is going. But I figured because of the show, and she says, no, she says, we adopted Jones. Oh. And I was laughing. <laughs> so, yeah, so she... Um, she brought pictures out and she showed me uh, Puppy and how he's getting bigger and everything like that. And, and I was honestly touched because he said that it was when I, we, got it, we got the dog home, she looked at her son and said, do you want to rename him? And he was like, no, I like Jones. <laughs> so they're here. Yeah. It's Proof. A, yeah. So there's your godchild. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So yeah. So I was growing up a good looking dog and I, was, yeah. I, I just thought it was very, it was very coincidental. Yeah, well, so. you uh, raised a good dog. <laughs> I don't know. My namesake, I just I think, it's, I think it's fantastic. So thanks very much, Chris. You, you're going to make me live on in, uh, in dog years, really. <laughs> so after Meet the Hounds, um, anything going on? You have your... Uh, our calendar. We have a calendar. Oh, and it is it's finally, time? finally... It's uh, finally time to talk about the calendar. Yes. Excellent. It's, it's uh, the... Uh, W girls are going to be photographed first, so yep. I talked to Angela Kuchma, and it looks like within the next week or so here, yeah. it's going to get rolling, so we're really excited about that. That's so fantastic. And Chris Jones here will be in the calendar, so that on I the will. guy part, of course. So. Yeah. <laughs> Nude? Um, I've been going to CrossFit, so I'm pretty okay. bold. <laughs> Well, I've got a movie part coming up where apparently I have to do this, so yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get. He's, he's trying to get as much nude work as possible. Yeah. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> Matt makes movies. Oh. Yeah. And if you didn't know, for the people out there as well, since you're, um, he just got a grant to make a brand new film. Yep. And oh, uh, nice. that's starting. Called the editor. Yeah, called the editor, and in August. Yep. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And Chris has graciously volunteered to be naked in it. Oh, well. Anything to get on movies. I just well, <laughs> if you need any dogs. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so when is the, so with the calendar, uh, is it going to be two calendars? Are they doing one? How they... I think it's going to be one combined with uh, okay. guys and girls. So, yeah. Uh, fair enough. So I hope to have it out in July or August. So mm -hmm. as I'll... things firm up and get out there, we'll pass the information on. So. Absolutely excellent. Chris, thanks very much. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, Luna. <laughs> Wherever she's down there eating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's eating. She's where the food is. <laughs> she exactly. <laughs> is. Um, so uh, we'll sorry. Meet the hounds tomorrow. Uh, adult dogs can eat tire. Yes. Puppies at pet value. Yes. Ten and eleven. Ten and eleven. Now's the season. You want to get out? You can do lots of fun things with a dog. Get out there. Take a look at the dogs. If you want to adopt, dogslife.cc. Chris. C A. C A. Oh, CC, sorry. CC. You threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my show. We're going to go to a quick break, and when we come back, Matt and I are going to talk a little bit about TGIF. Beautiful blue sky. Our skies are changing. The pollution from our cars and trucks is a major cause of climate change. It could change life as we know it. Trees help by removing carbon dioxide. But our urban areas need more trees. By planting a few trees every year, you'll help keep our skies just the way they should be, clear and blue. Trees do their part. We must do ours.
WGMK would like to thank Wind & Water Interiors for being a proud supporter of local television programming. Wind & Water Interiors, 326 2nd Street South. <laughs> wow. Wow. Whoa, we have a harsh, harsh floor director today. Yeah. Holy, he's a real student of Jack Dawson, this Liam's co-op student kid. Magahi. Yeah. I, you, I know his name. Yeah, me too. I care. I don't. So. <laughs> Liam, if, Liam made a great uh, little sketch with our other co-op student, Lucas. Oh, yeah? Uh, which you, he probably didn't get to see it yesterday because it was so hectic in here, but uh, played yeah. in the first break there yesterday. Yeah. And I say make more of them. Yeah, Please. you know what? Doing a fine job. Co-op students doing a, doing a very, very fine job. So absolutely love it. So and if you actually, um, you know what? If you're out there and you want to give us a little bit of feedback, a little bit of comments, you can get a hold of us at goodmorningkanara at shaw.ca. And also, we're on Facebook, which is facebook.com backslash gokanara. So all of our stuff is there. and We post our contests like the, uh, the Plaza giveaway, which, you know, is a huge success for us. A huge success. Love it. Every Wednesday, so next Wednesday, uh, Fawn will post it up and you can go on our Facebook page and be entered to win a free lunch. Free lunch, people. Okay. What I keep asking for and I never see it on our Facebook is some, some love. Yeah. Say you love me, please. Somebody. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody please post that they love me <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook. Say, I'll, we love Matt. I'll do it today. You don't count, man. Oh, that's right. I You're do. not the audience. Okay, well, uh, like contact your fiance, Matt. Doesn't count either. <laughs> she has to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we want to, uh, from the Good Morning Canor team, uh, we want to wish Hunter a very happy fifth birthday. Fifth birthday today, so happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, yeah. Hunter. Um, very, very cool. Uh, also, Go hunting if you want. Yeah. Good, goodwill. You're welcome. Goodwill hunting. Okay. You can do that too. You so, can watch it. Oh, that's a good movie. Um, today also we had, a, we had a bit of a contest uh, coming up for the Shrine Circus because that is happening next week. We had a couple of tickets for the 415 show and we do have a winner. <laughs> <laughs> I said we go for a, uh, a drum roll, but uh, Maria... One of our favorite viewers, congratulations, you have won. You won the draw. Absolutely. What are the odds? Pictures of each of her daughters. Yeah, she posted pictures of each of her daughters up for us, which was part of the contest rules. You had to post pictures of your kids. And uh, thank you to everyone who entered uh, to win these tickets. It's very, very cool. Is that going to be a delivery by you or the tickets? Uh, I don't know. We can probably get the door. We'll figure it out. We can just drop by, deliver them. It's not going to commit to anything I, on air. You know what? I know where <laughs> she works. So, <laughs> I know where she lives. Oh, <laughs> that's a little creepy, my friend. <laughs> um, so, go wow, uh, I know going where you on, live too. Oh, I know. Um, going on this weekend is the home show. So, uh, when you get out, go out, uh, enjoy the home show. It's coming up, uh, I do believe, it starts tonight and then goes Saturday and Sunday. Yep. I was there yesterday, I actually saw everybody setting up. Looks like it's going to be quite the show, quite the yeah. home show. Nice. Yeah. Well, I hope so, because I mean, they have, they have a whole bunch of new vendors. Yep. Hopefully, you know, you go down, you can check out if you want uh, a boat or spa or all those other things. Some roofing. Yeah, a little roofing would help. I do some believe. Flooring. flooring. I do believe if you're looking for some cable. Oh. I think so. Wow. I did see that booth as well. Yes, yeah. it is there. So Don't say it. Shaw Cables has a booth down. Uh, if you want to go down, you have any questions, you have some comments, so you can go always go down and talk to the you fine want to say gentleman. you love the hosts on Good Morning Kenora? Absolutely. You want Tell to go down, them. go down to the Shaw booth and say, we love, we love that Matt on that show that he does. Not you? Well, everyone loves me. It's just assumed. <sighs> wow. If only I could be as confident and... I'm just so insecure. I need to hear that people love me. But you, you're just so comfortable in your position. I know. It's true. When you're this good, Matt, you just, you know, you're this good. It's like anchor man. Wow. I look up to you. Well, thanks, buddy. You're, you're a father figure to me, and I thank you for it. i getting weepy. we got to segue here. Um, if, and also, I will be on the home show. I'm going to go down, and I, I'm going to uh, cook some burgers for a little while with Triple Play, because they're going to be there with their signature hot dogs. Sweet. Yeah, so I'm going to take some time on Saturday to go down and check it out. So you can, when you're down there, you can get a signature hot dog from Triple Play and tell me that you love me. 
But you will not be making an appearance at the Shaw booth. I might. So you're. I might be down okay. there too. You never know. I'll be all. You better. I mean, <laughs> you are a Shaw man. It's true. I'm a, a shaman. perfect man. Sh shaman. shaman? <laughs> <laughs> so what is this signature hot dog? They have some like triple play only brand. Absolutely. And it's like, whoa, that's a good hot yeah, dog. Yeah, Deb was down a couple weeks ago. Deb was on Tuesday, and she wouldn't tell us what it is. Oh. But it's, it's a signature triple play hot dog. Wow. So, yeah. It's made out of horse meat or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 some tells me if you've been watching the news, that's probably a bad yeah, thing. Yeah, well, it's prob probably true if you've been watching the news. That's true. <laughs> There's lots of horse meat in Ikea, oh, for example. Ikea, yeah, you know what? But over, it's a funny story about, uh, quick aside about horse meat. They know uh, my former extended family, uh, or, you know, Holland Our horses. And, and from Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Dutch and from Holland. And yeah, you know what? It's, it's called Rule Place over there, and it's perfectly perfectly acceptable. It is, yeah. There is, uh, they were talking on the news that there's a whole business of I can look, many businesses that provide horse meat for consumption. Mm -hmm. People just, you know, what's the difference between a horse and a cow, really? You can, you can ride both of them. It's true. Yeah. Well, the, you know what? They both till your fields. One's just made a little chewy or not, but uh, yeah. it's good. Um, Speaking of, in the news, you do a little trending thing. You're always you're good. finger in the pulse. What's going on? Yeah, I haven't done trending for a long time because I'm always hosting. So I don't know. I could host and trend, but I never prepare for it when I'm hosting. Uh, so one thing that's going on that's like weeks old is that there was horse meat <laughs> mixed in with beef. So I wouldn't even say that's trending. That's old. Um, I don't know what else is could going on. Could be worse. Could be Chinese newspaper I don't mixed know. in with your meat. Yeah, that's true. It's called McDonald's. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, okay, well, no, I just, I was just asking. What is going on? Uh, you know what? I, uh, I've been there's been so much, been paying attention. Been to lots of terrorist attacks. Uh, a little bit too. Seems. What is going on though is the weather. It is very, very nice outside. Uh, today it is a high of seven and a low of minus three, with some sunshine. So not a bad little day, but getting better. Tomorrow high of ten, low of minus three. So really great for uh, you know hot dogs. 13 on Sunday with a low of 1. Really another, another great, great day. And then on Monday, the best day of the week, high of 18 and a low of 9. So, fantastic. I know it's trending. It's not fun. This is not fun news for okay. metal fans, but the guitarist from Slayer died. Jeff? 43. 49. 49? Yeah. yeah Still young. Still very young. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I, I did read that, and that is, that is unfortunate. Yeah. <sighs> You Slayer fan? Yes. Sorry. I like old school. Yeah, you know what? It's okay. All the great musicians seem to pass away, and all the other ones just endure. <laughs> Nickelback. Keep going. Nickelback, really? It's time to shuffle off. Nickelback, it's time to pass away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Um, next week on the show, Paulette Grota from the Mailer Wallace House will be here with uh, T. So that's always very, very cool. Very good. Uh, Tuesdays. Great. Tuesday, Deb, Deb Novak will be back with Triple Play, and she'll probably give a wrap yeah. up of, of how the... She should uh, bring the hot dogs. Uh, yes. Please. I'd yep. eat that over dog food. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? It's probably way, way better. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, then, so next week will be good. Of course, Dave Kane will be back. Hopefully back in uniform again, because that just that was just threw me right off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then that was really it. bothersome for me. It was. I was disturbed. It was really, yeah, it was really odd. So, uh, and then, you know, it's going to be a great weekend. Very, very nice. Uh, and then, of course, Hope in the City is next weekend. And then now we're getting right into the, the full swing of spring. The full swing of spring. Yes. And you should audition to be the new guitarist for Slayer. Just an idea. Do you know what? If I knew how to play guitar, I'd, I'd be all in. I'd be all in for that. But you know what? Never I don't, too late. It's true. I don't, uh, I don't have any musical talent at all, unlike some people who sing. Enjoy your weekend. Have a great, great one. And we'll see you bright and early on Monday for another beautiful show. Peace out. This episode of GMK was brought to you by Devil's Gap Marina, located at the end of Matheson Bay Road on beautiful Lake of the Woods and open all year round. <laughs>